Hello everyone, my name is Greg Furman, Market Analyst here at TraderPlanet.com and these are the market positions for April the 26th, 2011. Now we have a volatile, <clears throat> excuse me, a volatile week ahead of us with the FOMC on Wednesday. We're going to see a lot of activity in the equities and the foreign exchange market and even in the commodity market, specific, specifically the gold market and the silver market. So looking at this, uh, there's some pretty decent opportunity in my opinion on this dollar yen trade. Uh, I believe we're going to continue to range trade probably between the 81 and 85.50 level. So looking at this, we can see that our triple EMA cross has recently crossed to the downside, but we're on the predicted short and medium term difference. The long term difference is overbought and the, or oversold, excuse me, and the predicted short and medium term difference are basically have turned flat and are starting to point upwards. Now, our predicted MACD and predicted true strength indicators suggest that we're still going to potentially see a little bit more to the downside. So what we're going to do is we're going to look for it to pull back and then get into uh, a buy position. Now, checking the high-low break here from vantage point, what, what we're going to do is we're, we're going to bring that up here so everybody can see that. Uh, that's hitting the F5 key. Now, looking at this, we can see that uh, we're more or less trading in a fairly tight range. Europe was out today, so tomorrow's going to be volatile. I, I certainly would expect that, but I don't really see a lot of buyers of, of, of the Japanese yen, to be perfect, and I'm certainly not one of them. Uh, I'm, I'm a seller of the yen. I, I, see, I see it in much worse shape than the U.S. dollar, so if we're, we're battling out basically you know, uh, the prettiest horse in the glue factory here is is definitely uh, the U.S. dollar. So, and again, to make that assumption, they are both certainly, uh, the two horses are definitely in the glue factory, that's for sure. So, again, we're, we're looking now to the daily report to to fine tune the entry fine tune the entry we're basically going to be using the vantage point predicted high and predicted low and uh, you know the neural index so the neural index for tomorrow is up we have 8240 is our high 8140 is our low so for tomorrow we're going to be looking around the 8150 to 8147 area because again you would never go in and if, if vantage point is saying 8140 is the predicted low if you you would never put your limit order exactly at 8140 because you have to pay a spread to get in or in in a end out of that trade you don't have to pay the spread to get out but it has to hit a certain number so we always leave a bit of room that if it approaches anywhere near this area we suspect that it's going to bounce so using the 8150 8147 area that's a, a decent area stops we should have our stops below the 8060 level in this particular case uh, you know, for your intraday traders, there's going to be some volatility on this yen pair, so you definitely want to be a little cautious there. But again, I see us uh, running, uh, starting to run out of steam a bit here on our predicted short and medium term differences, particularly are starting to turn from they've turned from 42 to 24, from 88 to 65. So again, that's not saying that we're overly bearish here. It's actually showing that it's starting to turn the other way. So we definitely want to keep that into consideration. Now that's our first position for tomorrow. Now our second position is going to be in the iShares Japan Index, the EWJ. We were trading this one uh, a couple of weeks back. You remember that I had talked about uh, specifically I saw some very good opportunity forming on this particular ETF and we were to buy it anywhere down as low as 985. So we've gone down, we've dipped down slightly below that $10 mark. It's allowed us to get into our position. Now is there further opportunity on, opportunity on this? Well in my opinion absolutely there is. Uh, we've got the predicted true strength indicator and the predicted MACD crossing the trigger in heavily oversold territory. That's exactly what we're looking to see. Our predicted short, medium, and long-term differences are above the zero line, but not in overbought territory. And our predicted uh, short, uh, we're going to bring this up here so everybody can see it, our predicted short, medium, and long-term crossovers have all just recently crossed over the trigger. So very, very good opportunity here. Now our triple EMA cross is not completed, but that's okay. We're right around a key. We've we've cleared a very critical resistance point here. Our 18-day predicted moving average at 10.15, our 8-day at 10.11, and our 3-day at 10.18. We've closed at 10.21. That is quite bullish. Now, closing above all three of the vantage point predicted moving averages is likely to set the tone for a reversal back towards this 11.50 mark. 
Now again, if we're picking up a dollar, dollar fifty a sh on a share on on a ten dollar ETF, that's a very very good return on investment on a short to medium term basis so and we don't have to worry about jumping in and jumping out of it this is somewhere we can kind of park our money and just let it sit there and let this trade develop over the coming weeks and months but even from an eight from a day traders perspective there's still some pretty decent value here even if you're only getting a you know a 20 cent move you know that's still a very good return so with that said, let's 10.15 is likely going to be my entry point for tomorrow. That's based around the 18-day uh, predicted moving average from vantage point, which I believe will be a key support area. But let's go in and see if our daily report matches my, my thought. Well, it, it does. So we've got 10.16 for our, for our low and 10.25 tomorrow for our high. This is what our day traders are looking at. But again, medium-term traders should be looking at a return towards that $11 mark. That's the target that I personally am using in my trades on this particular ETF. Our neural index is down for tomorrow, so that's simply telling us that we're losing maybe a little bit of momentum here. We're going to get a slight pullback. The neural index is not intended to be a trend reversal indicator. It's just giving us the immediate direction for when the market opens tomorrow. So again, 1016 is our entry, 1025 short-term traders, medium-term to longer-term traders. We should be looking for a return to the levels pre-earthquake in Japan, and that was right around the 1150 to 1170 mark. So if we're buying that at 10, 1015, 1020 a share, very good opportunity there. So those are the market positions for April the 26th, 2011. And again, my name is Greg Furman, market analyst here at TraderPlanet.com.